This example asks us to factor, using the diamond method, 6y squared plus 11y minus 10. Okay, so here we have a is 6, b is 11, and c is negative 10. And the diamond method, you'll recall, draw this x like this, you do ac up here, b goes down here, ax here, with a line and ax here with a dividing line. In this, for, in this example, it's going to be y instead of x, but everything else works the same. Okay, so let's do it here. Um, okay, so we'll set up our x there, and we'll have ac. So a times c, that's 6 times negative 10, is negative 60. Okay, and then b goes down here, 11. Okay, 6y goes here. AX essentially, or AY in this case, 6Y, and then we do our dividing line. Okay, now we want factors of AC that add up to B. Factors of AC that add up to B. So in this example, that's factors of negative 60 that add up to 11. So let's find some factors of negative 60 and see what we can do there. So. What I do is I just start looking at the factors of 60 and don't worry about the negative. And in the last minute, I'll worry about the worry about how the negative sign fits in. So let's just look at some factors of 60. Well, 1 and 60. You don't have to start here. I'm starting here just to demonstrate. Well, that's there's no way to add and subtract this to come up with 11. How about 2 and 30? No, I can add and subtract those all day. I'm not going to get 11. Um, 3 and 20, we're getting closer. Because I could do 20 minus 3 and we get 17, that's closer. 4 and 15, there we have it, right? Because 15 minus 4 is 11. So we want these to add, so we want these to multiply to negative 60. So now we fix the negatives. So let's do negative 4 times 15, right? That way when we multiply them, we get negative 60. But when we add them, we get positive 11. So this is what we're looking for here. There's our factorization. All right, so we take each factor. Negative 4 goes there, and 15 goes here. It doesn't matter which one. I mean, these are the same, 6y. So it doesn't matter which one goes where. Completely arbitrary. Next, we simplify these. So let's see here. 6 and negative 4, we can cancel those. We get a 3 and a 2 here. All right, so this is going to be 3y over negative 2. Same thing over here. 6 and the 15 cancel. That leaves us with 2 up here and a 5 down here. We're getting, we're factoring a 3 out of both of those. So this gives us 2y over 5. Okay. So the way we read off our factors, our factors are here. The way we read them off is the top down like so. Top down like so. So our factored form is 3y minus 2 and 2y plus 5. There we go. Foil that together yourself. Verify that it works. It does. And that's how you use the diamond method on this kind of example. Let's try another one. OK, in this next example, we have 21x squared minus 31x plus 10. So we set up our diamond method. OK, here we go. So AC goes here, B goes here, AX goes here, AX goes here. OK, so let's see. A is 21, B is negative 31, and C is 10. All right, so AC is 210. OK, B is negative 31. That goes down here. AX is 21X, and then we do our dividing line, 21X dividing line. All right, so we need factors of 210 that add to negative 31. All right, so let's write our 210 here, and then get busy factoring. Again, I, I disregard the negatives until the very last kind of minute with these, once, once I get down into the, the nitty gritty of factoring them. When I look at 210, the first thing that jumps out to me is 21 times 10. And that is a lucky guess, because when I add those together, I get 31, so I know I'm close. 
How can we make that negative 31? Well, let's change it slightly. Let's make this negative 21 times negative 10. All right, we multiply them together, we get 210, check. We add them together, we get negative 31, check. Okay, so we take our two factors and we write them up here in our, in our x. So divided by negative 21 and divided by negative 10. Next, we simplify these as best we can. So it looks like here we can cancel the 21s. So this gives x over negative 1 down here. Here we can't cancel anything, so we still have 21x over negative 10. And then you read these factors from the top down. Again, there we go. So we'll read it as x minus 1 over uh, times 21x minus 10. All right, so that one had didn't have much going on. Actually, a pretty surprising factorization, but looking at the initial trinomial, I'm not sure it's that easy to recognize, right? So using the diamond method, it cuts right through, um, and you can get this factorization without spending a ton of time and, and mental energy trying to get to it. Let's try one more. This example is 8x squared minus 14xy plus 3y squared. So I think what I'm going to do here is just factor the version without the y's and then add in the y's at the very end. So let's just factor 8x squared minus 14x plus 3. And then once we have this factored, we'll just add, add the y's back in. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here we go. Let's do our cross here. Okay, AC goes in the top. So here's A, B, and C. Just the coefficients, not the x's. So that kind of stops off there. So A times C is 24. AC goes here, and then B goes down here, negative 14. AX and AX go on the sides, so that'd be 8X dividing line, 8X dividing line. Okay, now we need factors of AC that add up to B, so factors of 24 that add to negative 14. All right, so let's start listing the factors of 24. Maybe you can jump right to it. I'll just go slowly here. 1 times 24, well, those don't add to 14, all right? 2 times 12, yes, right? 2 plus 12 is 14, so we're in the right ballpark here. Let's just tweak the signs a little bit. Let's do um, negative 2 times negative 12. How about that? That still multiplies to positive 24, but when you add those, you get negative 14, so we're good to go. All right, so negative 2, negative 12, and now we can simplify these down. 8 and 2 can simplify to, let's see, we can get a 2 cancel out of both of those. So we have 4x over negative 1 here. And here we can get a 4 out of both of these. That'll leave us with a 2 up top, a 3 on the bottom. So 2x over negative 3. And now we're ready to read off our factors. We read them from the top down. So this is 4x minus 1 and 2x minus 3. Okay, maybe you want to give that a quick mental foil to make sure it checks out. It does. Um, so let's just finally add these y's back in. So our final answer would be 4x minus 1y, so just y, and 2x minus 3y to make sure we get those y's included. There you go, factored form.